Del or Sesco speaker when things went a little wrong going into turn number three and four. Well, Wild Ride of the Week, certainly one of the most popular segments on World of Speedway. Unfortunately, former Australian leader car champion Dean Eaton in car number 10 is about to become our winner this week. Rides the wheel of the Porter Machine and, whoa, that is a big, big ride. The number 10, Ron Liddell Racing Machine, the Sesco Power Plant, comes unstuck. Let's have a look at it again. Just rides the wheel of the 33, gets it up onto the right rear. Oh, but it vaults in here. He's just gone big time. Tears off some big chunks of clay. Ooh, heavy impact. This one here might ring his bell just a little bit. No, it came down reasonably soft there. So there'd be a fair bit of damage to the number 10 car. It was a battle for room on the racetrack at Newcastle Speedway, going into turn number three and four for Gary Rush Jr. and Grant Tunks. Unfortunately, neither of them coming out on top. Everybody's favourite segment, except the people that are involved. Wild Ride of the Week now, it's Grant Tunks and Gary Rush about to get together two second generation races. Their dads probably, unfortunately, got into a spot of bother like this once or twice in their careers. Both one in the same piece of clay. Rush slams the Vic and Payless Maxim against the wall. Tunks, unfortunately, aggravating his uh, already problem wrist injury. Let's go to Robbie Farr now. Catch up with him in the studio. Those brave men and women of the sidecar fleet really turned it on at Parramatta City Raceway. Whenever they turn the swaddle up, you're always guaranteed of fireworks. We're going to go back to the archives a bit now for the wild ride of the week. There was some wild sidecar action at Parramatta City Raceway earlier in the season. This is Darren Trelaw and Alan Griffiths coming unstuck big time. We'll have a look at this in slow motion here. Pretty nasty ride, but he can see that they were absolutely on the limit going into turn number one, attempting the pass. It doesn't come off. They get a bit of a high side and boom. Look at that. They both fell onto each other there. That was a big ride. Well, that wasn't the end of it, unfortunately. There was more to come. Look to the extreme left here. Big Martin about to uncut, unstuck big time. That is a jarring impact. And this is the crash, unfortunately, that many believe would end Big Martin's racing career on sidecars. Uh, already had some aggravated injuries. Let's watch here. The bike just digs in. And look at how lucky Playstead was on the inside. The orange bike not. Wild ride of the week this week. It goes to the green number 56 of Clayton Priest. About to ride Daryl Kimes' wheel on the outside. Tags the right rear. Up onto the left front. And a hard impact into the concrete wall that wins Newcastle Speedway. Clayton was OK. The kids obviously loved it. You can see him coming down to the fence. Slow motion replay now. Unfortunately, just goes to the outside on Kime. Rides the wheel. Gets up. Car gets over onto the left front and just vaults into the air. Flips high. Crashes down to the track very hard. Clayton was all right. He lives to race another day. Formula 500s, too, sometimes have a little difficulty getting... As Steve Smith found out in this bone-jarring wreck there. Well, it's a combination wild ride of the week for you this week. Courtesy of the Shortland RSL Australian Formula 500 Championship, you're about to see Chris Metcalf spin the 67. David Baxter with nowhere to go. A grinding wreck in turn number two. Looking at it in slow motion, it's Metcalf who unfortunately spins the car. There he is, about to greet the oncoming traffic. Somebody very lucky to get by on the outside then. I think it was Fanning. And Baxter just hits him head on. And over they both go. Baxter along the way, aggravating an ankle injury in the process. That was probably not the most spectacular. How about this from Steve Smith to the far right of the screen? It's a bike, slams the wall, bottle jam wide open. He ends up on the main straight with a very sick and sorry race car. Looking at it again in slow motion. Have a look, he just gets a bite up on the right front wheel and no time to slow down. Bang! That is a hard impact into the concrete retaining wall of Lynch Newcastle Speedway. See how much distance it covers. Throttle jam wide open probably doesn't help. Needs one more look at it. Oh man, his head stretched right out the side there. That is a really hard hit for Steve Smith. It was one of those titles. Everyone was very aggressive. Rides of the week for NASA's World of Speedway. Grab yourself a pen. You need to scribble down your very best wild ride.